Friday the 30th of May 2025 marked the end of 93 years of traditional colour light signals being used on the Metropolitan Line between Finchley Road and Preston Road with Communications Based Train Control or CBTC operation starting from Monday. We start at Finchley Road, the previous switchover point from CBTC to conventional signals as shown by this helpful sign on Platform 1. Here's a Watford bound train arriving from Baker Street on automatic operation, with the whole line south of here to Aldgate having already been migrated to CBTC in two stages in 2019 and 2021. Up until now, drivers took over manual control from here north. The signal changes and the train is ready to continue to Wembley Park but from Monday, this signal will be deactivated and covered up as automatic operation will extend to Preston Road. This is signal migration area 8 of the wider four lines modernisation scheme that will bring nearly the entire subsurface network into automatic control eventually. As we continue down the line to Wembley Park, let's talk about why they're actually doing this £5.4 billion upgrade. More capacity, eventually, but not yet. Better reliability, um, yeah, moving on. Mainly, it's to replace a nearly 100-year-old signalling system with a digital moving block system that can basically run more trains at once. Now at Wembley Park, an Uxbridge All Station service arrives onto the slow line on Platform 2, with a clear signal aspect ahead. The conventional signalling system used here means that only one train can occupy each section at a time. This is known as fixed block signalling. After the train departs, the signal returns to danger as the section ahead is occupied by the train. Only allowing one train through the fixed block at a time can be inconvenient and limits the amount of trains able to operate on the line, especially in busier sections of the network, such as between Gloucester Road and Tower Hill on the Circle and District lines. Another train arrives at Wembley Park, this time on the fast line on Platform 1. It safely slows down to stop in time for the red signal at the end of the platform. But what if it didn't stop in time? Um, hopefully not that. But that's where the trip cock comes into play, a mechanical arm that raises when the signal is red, and if a train passes it while up, the brakes are applied and it will stop. Once the signal goes green, the trip cock goes down, and the train can now continue on the fast lines to Harrow on the Hill. This mechanism is not required in the CBTC system, as there is automatic train protection within the computer system preventing trains from colliding. At Preston Road, the trains will return to the conventional signalling system, similar to what used to happen at Finchley Road. This will happen until the end of 2025, when CBTC will be extended to Ball Park as part of the signal migration area 9. For all stations trains that stop at this station, the change will be unnoticeable as the changeover will take place when the train is stopped on the platform. However, trains on the fast lines will have to stop for a few seconds in the area near the station while the signalling changeover happens. This will happen until the end of 2025. This might be a bit inconvenient as it takes the fast out of the fast train. Enough about the old signals, let's talk about the new system. It works by trains continuously calculating and communicating their position using a computer system, allowing them to remain at the minimum distance to stop safely behind the train ahead. This means that it doesn't actually require any physical signals anymore, reducing the overall maintenance cost and the likelihood of a physical signal failure. This should lead to a better service reliability overall. For the London subsurface network, this also allows the network to be centrally controlled at the fancy new Hammersmith Service Control Centre, allowing for, hopefully, 
less of this and maybe more frequency across the lines like originally promised but no one knows if or when this will actually happen. The next sections of the network to be migrated to CBTC are Barons Court to Stamford Brook on the district and more of the Metropolitan up to Moor Park and West Harrow, both scheduled to happen in later in 2025. Thank you for watching today's video and I hope you learned a thing or two about the signalling of the London Underground. If you did happen to enjoy this kind of content, please consider subscribing and leaving a like on this video.